हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस इल्यूस्ट्रेशन नंबर सेवन ओके वी डिस्कस द इल्यूस्ट्रेशन नंबर सेवन इन इल्यूस्ट्रेशन नंबर सेवन द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फर्म इज गिवन वी आइडेंटिफाई द एक्सपेंसेस व्हिच इज नॉट रिलेटिंग टू द पार्टनरशिप फर्म वी आइडेंटिफाई द इनकम्स व्हिच इज अर्न फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेस as well as we read the additional information we make a star in front of uh, that item which is additional information given okay uh, now here we solve this illustration number 7 so make a solution prepare a solution so here solution solution computation of taxable income of partnership for partnership for computation of taxable income of partnership for ay means assessment year for ay 2021 dash 22 and py that is previous year py 2020 now prepare a three column that is particulars rupees rupees now prepare three column particulars rupees rupees here first column is particulars second column is rupees third column is rupees particulars then rupees rupees here the net profit is given in profit and loss account so net profit as per profit and loss account amounting to rupees so here we already find the net profit net profit is given in n profit and loss account that is 80000 so net profit of the firm amounting to rupees 8000 amounting to rupees 8000 okay so here put the net profit figure in outer column that is 80000 80000 not 8000 8000 is the net profit of the partnership firm then we add what we add add this allowed expenses that is called inadmissible expenses expenses it includes first we identify the inadmissible expenses so first transfer those inadmissible expenses so first to income tax it is inadmissible or start from the first item that is two salaries salary is a expenditure relating to the partnership firm no adjustment is given on salaries no adjustment is given on salary so uh, it is a expenditure relating to the partnership firm got it so uh, salary is the expenditure relating to the partnership firm okay so it is allowable expenditure so it cannot be add in net profit rent rent is also allowable expenditure miscellaneous expenses miscellaneous expenses means sundry expenses sundry expenses is the 
expenses relating to the partnership firm but here we make a star in front of miscellaneous expenses star denotes the additional information is given on miscellaneous expenses so read the additional information and then give the effect of uh, miscellaneous expenses so here additional information number first that is miscellaneous expenses paid include the private expenses of partner b so private expense of partner is disallowed so add these expenses in net profit okay so here miscellaneous expenses includes private expense of b amounting to rupees in inner column amounting to rupees amounting to rupees 5000 then next then next that is car expenses so additional information is also given on car that is one third car is used for personal purpose so one third so one third car expenses is relating to personal personal use so one third how to compute that is one divided by three multiplied by six thousand so here 2000 is disallowed amounting to rupees 2000 is disallowed the next next expenditure that is advertisement or advertisement advertisement so information is also given on advertisement that is advertisement includes rupees 2000 which is not relating to the business so those expenses which is not relating to the business are disallowed so advertisement not relating to the business not relating to the business amounting to rupees 2000 amounting to rupees 2000 the next the next that is that is that is income tax so income tax is also disallowed so income tax is also disallowed amounting to rupees 25,000 25,000 amounting to rupees 25,000 the next the next next that is loss of cash kept at partner's residence so it is also inadmissible loss loss of cash kept at partners residence partners residence amounting to rupees 13000 amounting to rupees 13000 the next 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 the next donation so all donation are disallowed donation is given to any trust charitable organization are disallowed donation so whole donation is disallowed so amount of donation is rupees 2000 okay so amount of donation 
is rupees 2000 so this 2000 is also disallowed 2000 then next then next uh, commission to partner so commission is a part of remuneration we add this remuneration uh, in net profit and then we get a deduction of working partner okay then salary to partner it is also part of remuneration interest on capital so interest on capital so additional information is given on interest on capital it means uh, the interest on capital is charged above 12 percent okay that is 15 percent so here uh, the rate of interest charged on capital or partners capital is at 15 percent per annum so excess interest on capital is disallowed excess interest on capital okay excess interest on capital so here first that is partner a at the rate at the rate 15 percent in amounting to rupees amounting to rupees 6000 amounting to rupees 6000 then here we get the deduction not deduction exemption deduction and exemption there is a uh, difference between exemption and deduction less less 12 percent interest on capital is exempted so 12 percent on 12 percent on 6000 out of 15 percent 12 percent on 6000 out of 15000 so how to compute so here into bracket into bracket into bracket 6000 multiplied by 12 divided by 15 got it so the amount is rupees or exempted amount is rupees 4800 4800 interest on capital is exempted and remaining balance of interest on capital is taxable the remaining balance of interest on capital is taxable got it so here in inner column the taxable interest on capital is rupees 1200 1200 then next then next that is partner b b also get a interest on capital at the rate 15 percent amounting to rupees 3750 amounting to rupees 3750 okay 3700 50 now we deduct 12 percent less 12 percent exempted okay so how to compute 12 percent on 3750 uh, we already compute a exempted interest on capital of partner b uh, partner a same uh, computation is for partner b so here the exempted interest on capital is rupees 3000 and remaining 750 750 is taxable 750 is taxable got it 750 is taxable then next partner b now partner c partner c is also get a interest on capital at the rate 15 percent so 15 percent that is amounting to rupees 5250 5250 less 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 exempted 
exempted less exempted 12 percent okay less 12 percent exemption are exempted so 12 percent that is amount in rupees 4200 4200 is exempted 4200 is exempted now the balance is taxable okay so the here uh, 1050 1050 is taxable got it so here we add inadmissible and excess interest on capital in net profit okay add add means here we uh, does not add the total of inner column in outer column now we make the total of inner column here here we make the total of inner column and put this total in outer column that is that is 57000 is the total of inner column 57000 is the total of inner column Add this fifty-seven thousand in in eighty thousand. Here we get one lakh thirty-seven thousand. One lakh thirty-seven thousand. Okay. Now we add what we add after adding the excess interest on capital. We are add what we add 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 remuneration. to each partners okay so for partner a a for partner a salary for partner a salary so see the salary given to the partner a so here remuneration to commission to partner a 20,000 to salary to partner B and C. So uh, salary is not given to partner A, not given to partner A. Okay. So here the amount of salary is nil. Okay. The amount of salary is nil in inner, inner column. Then salary, then uh, commission. Okay then commission we add we add a commission so commission is given to partner a amounting to rupees 20000 and then lastly the bonus so bonus is not given to partner a so amount is nil put this figure in outer column here so the 20,000 remuneration is given to partner A. Now we compute a remuneration of partner B. Okay, partner B. Partner B. Salary. So salary is given to partner B. Salary is given to partner B here. Amounting to piece 30,000. So salary is given salary amounting to rupees 30,000 then commission so commission is not given to not given to partner B so in amounting column bonus is also not given to partner B so in amounting column it is nil Okay, in amounting column it is nil. Then partner, partner C. So salary, salary given to partner C, amounting to rupees. So salary is given to partner C, that is amounting to rupees, amounting to rupees. amounting to rupees 15,000 15,000 
फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड देन कमीशन कमीशन इज नॉट गिवन सो इन अमाउंटिंग कॉलम इट इज नील एंड बोनस इज ऑल्सो नॉट गिवन टू पार्टनर सी सो अमाउंटिंग कॉलम इज नील पुट द फिगर्स इन इनर कॉलम That is thirty thousand. Thirty thousand remuneration is given to partner B, and fifteen thousand remuneration is given to partner C. Okay, so here we add remuneration. One thing is missing here. We miss the depreciation. We miss the depreciation. After adding the excess depreciation in net profit, we did not read the depreciation. So additional information: depreciation is definitely expenditure relating to the partnership firm. Got it? But additional information is provided on depreciation. Got it? Additional information. So read additional information. So here, uh, additional information number fifth: the depreciation allowable as per the income tax rule, amounting to rupees fifteen thousand for business. so actual depreciation is rupees 15000 but the depreciation is charge on the debit side of profit and loss account is 20000 it means the firm can charge excess depreciation on the debit side of profit and loss account so the excess depreciation or excess expenditure is disallowed so depreciation excess depreciation is add in is add in is add in net profit so here we add here excess depreciation excess depreciation okay we miss the effect of excess depreciation so depreciation that is actual depreciation is rupees 15000 and charge depreciation is 20000 so 20000 minus actual depreciation here the 5000 is excess charge on the debit side of profit and loss account so we add this depreciation excess depreciation in net profit got it excess depreciation in net profit so the total is same there is no any difference between the total of inner column just we miss the effect of excess depreciation got it so everything is right okay now here we identify the remuneration okay now make the total of inner column that is make the total of Uh, partners remuneration and uh, put this total on outer column put this total in outer column so here 65000 65000 is the total remuneration of partner 65000 is the total remuneration that total remuneration is add a net profit okay we add this uh, we add this remuneration to net profit got it okay so here we add add uh, now make the total now make the total and that total is 1 60 One lakh sixty-one thousand. So here we uh, get okay, one lakh sixty-one thousand. That one lakh sixty-one thousand is known as book profit of four. Four book profit of four. Here we find out the book profit. Okay, so here we solve a fifty percent illustration here. Fifty percent. 
remaining 50 not 50 percent it is a 80 percent illustration it's all 80 percent illustration okay. now we deduct okay what we deduct we add remuneration so here we deduct sorry here one lakh sixty thousand is not the total sixty five thousand here we deduct here we deduct the expenses uh, sorry here we deduct after adding the remuneration to after adding the remuneration into net profit we deduct so here the total is one lakh thirty seven thousand 137,000 plus 65,000 so your total is 2 lakh 2 lakh 2,000 2 lakh 2,000 is the total okay now we deduct what we deduct less 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 the credit side of profit and loss account so credit side of profit and loss account here the income which is charge charged under other heads so less income charged under other heads so income charged under other heads is given first that is capital profit okay profit on sale of profit on sale of asset okay so profit on sale of asset that is amounting to rupees 21,000 here profit on sale of car 21,000 so deduct this 21,000 from net profit that is 21,000 we put the figure in inner column 21,000 then next next income which is charged under other heads that is bad debts recovered previously disallowed previously taxed so the bad debts which is relating to the previous year in previous year the bad debts bad debts are disallowed disallowed means the income tax cannot consider bad debts as an expense of partnership firm so it is not expenditure relating to the partnership firm then it is add in net profit so in current year the last year bad debts are recovered so last year bad debts are recovered are disallowed so it is also not an income of the partnership firm amounting to rupees amounting to rupees Five thousand amounting to rupees five thousand. The next, next interest on bank deposits. So interest on bank deposit also income from other source. Income from other source amounting to rupees five thousand. 5000 then next the next dividend from other company it is also income from other source so add this income in net profit amounting to rupees 10000 now make the total now make the total that is that is that is the total
that is the total 41,000 put this total in outer column here deduct 41,000 from 2 lakh 41,000 from 2 lakh 2,000 2 lakh 2,000 and the balance is called so here uh, 2 lakh 2,000 minus 41,000 the balance is 1 lakh 61,000 1 lakh 61,000 1 lakh 61,000 so 1 lakh 61,000 is the book profit of the partnership firm okay book profit of the partnership firm here we find out the book profit of partnership now we deduct what we deduct less again less the allowable remuneration to partners allowable remuneration to working partners not only partners which partner working partners working partners under section 40b under section 40b so here part a actual remuneration paid paid to working partners so partner a so remuneration is given to partner a that is so partner a a is not working partner so read the addi additional information a and b are working partner okay so a is working partner and b is also working partner so here partner a so commission is given to partner a so remuneration includes commission salary commission and bonus so the remuneration of partner is rupees 20,000 and partner B is 30,000 okay so here partners A and B partner A and and B that is 20,000 plus 30,000 okay so in inner column amounting to rupees amounting to rupees 50,000 amounting to rupees 50,000 actual remuneration paid actual remuneration paid 50,000 then B part B 1 lakh 50,000 or 90 percent of book profit whichever is lower so here one lakh fifty thousand okay so one lakh fifty thousand one lakh fifty thousand are 90% so 90% is equal to 90% on book profit so 90% is equal to 90 divided by 100 multiplied by 1 lakh 60 60 61,000 so here sir whichever is not lower whichever is higher amount is taken into consideration okay so 1 lakh 50,000 or 90 percent of book profit whichever is higher is taken into consideration for comparing the uh, actual remuneration of partners okay for comparing the uh, B part with a part so 
we uh, consider the highest value or we compare highest value with the actual remuneration paid and then uh, we compare these two figures and whichever is lower is allowed for deduction so here 90 percent that is 1,61,000 multiplied by multiplied by 19 divided by 100 that is 1 lakh is equal to is equal to 1 lakh 44,900 so here 1 lakh 50,000 is more so put the figure in outer column that is amount in rupees 1 lakh 50,000 1 lakh 50,000 got it 1 lakh 50,000 now compare these two figures so here the actual remuneration is lower so actual remuneration is allowed for deduction that is amounting to rupees 50,000 now here we deduct this 50,000 from 1,61,000 1,61,000 and we get the total taxable income of partnership firm that is 1,11,000 okay one lakh eleven thousand okay it is the taxable income taxable income of partnership firm okay firm partnership firm okay so here we compute the taxable income of partnership firm amounting to rupees one lakh eleven thousand got it uh, now we compute a tax liability but here in this illustration we cannot compute a tax liability okay it's your duty to compute the tax liability of partnership firm okay so 30 percent uh, tax on uh, taxable income of partnership firm and then add four percent of health and education says in taxable value or in uh, tax amount okay so four percent okay compute four percent on tax okay value of tax and then make a total of tax amount and 4% health and education says the total tax is known as tax liability of partnership firm okay so here we solve the illustration number 7 okay okay we taken into consideration all additional information as well as we identify okay uh, expenses and the income which is not relating to the partnership firm in our next lecture we are solve another example a similar type of example okay a, another similar type of example or illustration on computation of taxable income of partnership firm okay so thank you thank you very much okay thank you